Yeah! Hey, everybody. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Here we are back. You know, I realized we are playing a pirate-themed game, but I haven't done any pirate voices yet. A thing confounded further by the fact that, um... You know, uh... I just did dumb pirate voices in a different Let's Play I'm recording, because pirates were topical. So here, let me try, uh... Yar, it be time for another rollick in good time of Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Yar. All right, we good? Good. So last time we uh, wrapped up Spider Island. I mean, wrapped up by which I mean we took care of the main story bit, the whole den of evil and everything. There's still actually a lot of, to take care of there. Uh, we got a new upgrade as we were doing it. We got a uh, Risky's Hat as an item, which helped us get a couple more of Scuttletown's numerous missing thingies. Ugh. Still, still tantalizing stuff. So, we're gonna have a quick run through Saliva Island and Spiderweb Island to check for places that we could use our new hat. Saliva Island, all we're missing... Did I see that right? I wish you could check the, like, progress here. Oh, oh, you can. Okay, wow, well, alright. Oh no, I just kinda hit something. I must have tapped to get back here real quick. All I'm missing is a uh, lovely health squid, and but here I'm missing quite a few things. All right, so let's see if we can't get that final squid, and we, we can in case we can knock off Saliva Island off the uh, uh, docket list. Except not quite. If you remember, we also got a side quest last time where Sky's new uh, Sky's new love interest, Bazooka Joe, was petrified by a cursed. Um, coffin or sarcophagus if you want so we need to now find some kind of solution to that problem uh, and if you remember closely there is a sarcophagus exactly like the one we saw over here on saliva island so that's why I'm coming over here to have a quick look see eat that oh yeah what Apart from that, I don't think we have any new side quests, but we got a lot of stuff to remember, unfortunately. Uh, we got, like, all these health squids I've spotted. Um, I don't know where there are any cackle bats. If, if I knew where those were, we'd be golden, but, like, I don't have any memories of where those are. Now, here's the first place I want to try my glide. Right? Let's climb over here to the left, see if there's anything that we found there. Oh, God. Oh, oh, hey. There's something there. You saw that. No, I'm doing this in the wrong order. Ooh, it is a problem. But you know, I don't think I can get to that platform. The topmost platform fast enough. Because neither of these have things to get on, right? It's really... We're just playing with these two, really, at the moment. Okay. Yeah, there's no way I can get to get to that final platform on this statue here, so I could have the height to glide there. So can I get to anything? Can I get to anything over there? Huh? Oh, barely! Okay, nice. The next thing I was gonna do was get to the right side so I could climb up here. You know, to try to glide all across this thing to get here. But never mind, we barely got the height we need. So what do you suppose is going on around here? I don't know. But this is a moment for a super pike ball. This is a real bad spot to try and clear otherwise. Oh, well, I guess I could jump here and try to shoot the guy with my uh, risky pistol. That was not a nice trick. Alright, you wanna have another go at me? Hey, there it is! We did it! That's the entirety of Saliva Island taken care of. Beautiful. With the exception of that sarcophagus. Let's see if we can't get there through this route we're on now, because this is a uh, interesting little route we've got. So speaking of this like little like sojourn here to uh, 
check around places with our new ability. The backtracking that Metroidvanias are so known for. Uh, I think you could make an argument, and I think with good reason, like, um... It wouldn't be wrong or anything to make the argument that maybe I should be waiting until I'm at the end of the game and I have all of my tools at my disposal to ten then make a quick run around uh, all the other maps to, like, get the stuff that I missed. Oh, oh I find that one mermaid survives, whatever. Uh, and I'm going to jump on that sarcophagus really quickly, but um, I'm just going to say, yeah, that's a fair argument, especially in a game like this where it's more sequestered in the levels than your average Metroidvania, and they've got that whole checklist of stuff to collect. I think you could make an argument that, yeah, I could instead just kind of, like, take care of these places, like, at the end of the game, if I really wanted to go for all cackle bats, all hard squids, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Oh, come on! Really? What the...? I made it all the way here? Am I at least gonna get a... No? Oops. What the...? <gasps> oh, I got a shortcut! Alright, I was about to say, like, am I not gonna at least get a shortcut to get out of here? But this is annoying. What if I do this? So I got to the sarcophagus, but now I can't do anything there. Okay, well, file that under. We know how to get here, but... Oh, that's sneaky. That's a one-way route. Okay. Yeah, but for now, not a lot I can do except get on out of here. Oh. I backtracked the wrong way. Ooh. Yeah, because maybe we need to get something to activate that sarcophagus. Maybe I need to go back to talk to Sky's family real quick. Perchance. Oh, come on! How did you time that shot so well? Stupid mermaid. I just want to get out of here. I wish I don't need to use any items, so I'm trying to make my escape. Without having to use... Okay, we barely made it. Wow. It's getting a little close there. Look at me. I'm all beat up. Alright, let's shove off. But hey, that looks good. Saliva Island cleared. Looks really good. And then we're going to go do a quick run through Spider Island as well. And then we're going to head off to Tan Line Island. Mmm. Uh, but yeah, I do have a couple of reasons why I want to... Um, Instead of saving everything for the end to do, like, this quick runaround whenever I get a new ability, just a quick one of at least the parts I remember. Like, with the pistol, it was just the, like, switch in the sewers was the one to do, you know. Now that's taken care of, so now we're golden there. Um, with this hat, there might be more stuff, as I try to remember all these, like, ledges. Um, sorry, I once again gotta stop my thought. I'm gonna talk to these people real quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, this is all the same dialogue. That's Bazooka Joe. <sighs> I don't have an item that I could have, like, used. No. So, I I'm sorry, unless there's some really obvious thing that I am overlooking here, like an idiot, then... Then... Uh, I think I need to just come back to that sarcophagus once I figure out some new way to interact with it. Which isn't yet, apparently. Eh. We'll file it under now we know where to go to get to that sarcophagus. Mystery solved. Very good. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, the number one reason I want to go do these areas, or, you know, as I get the new abilities, is, you know, we get more resources for adventuring. The, the really roundabout one is that we end up beating up enemies and doing a bit of a grind for supplies as we do this exploration, which, you know, that's not bad. It's better than just grinding for grinding's sake, if you ask me. I, if I feel that way. But the other one, obviously, like, um... Well, the magic doesn't seem to do anything. Like, not yet, anyway. We'll see what happens if we can get more of it. But the squids obviously provide us with a heart every time we manage to get four of them, and that's it's a useful resource, so... 
Here's this hole bothering me. I, I think we tried to find a hole to break through, so no, that's not gonna help. We're just gonna worry about finding ledges to glide over. Um, so I, yeah, it's worth it to at least do that so I can get some extra health to uh, adventure with, you know. Let's get that map open. So I kinda remember, okay. Not a ton to explore here, thankfully, so we'll be done with Spider Island real quick, like. Um, so that's my one big reason why I want to do them. I'm a big, but you know, getting extra hearts is nice, you know. Just wanted to glide here, but no, there's nothing to find there! Okay. Just wanted to check, you know, wanted to check. Wanted to check if there's something in the corner. Hmm. The other reason is that the more I knock off things, like, as they come up, the less I have to remember in my memory banks of all these, like, things I've noticed, like this thing right here. Like, come, come on, guys. I, I know, like, right now I remember where the two heart squids are. One is in a hole, just like that box there. Somewhere. And then the other is in the actual maze, uh, Cackle Tower. In, like, a really, like weird spot that I don't know how to access. There it is. There's that buddy. There's nothing here. Nothing. No. Okay. Nothing here either. No. So, yeah. And nothing over there either. Alright. Okay, that wasn't the end of this area. There's just this guy. I'm gonna... I don't know. Why the heck not make a safety save? Safety save for that grind. Right, and that's the special area we can't do anymore that related to our Roddy Tops adventure. Hmm. So, I don't know, like, do we need to, like, get, like, a shovel or something? That makes that makes sense with a pirate theme. Digging buried treasure. We'll wait to see if we get, like, a shovel item. That's my guess. Then maybe we can access all these holes here. Also would fit, you know... It's gonna be like a desert area, the next one. So I imagine there's gonna be like, you know, digging through sand. A shovel, again, would fit. So now I'm gonna go with the shovel theory now. A little bit of shovel knight before shovel knight. What, what year did shovel knight come out? Hmm. I don't know. So anyway, like, yeah, I have like a bunch of stuff to remember. <laughs> in my effort to try and like, get all these spots. So if I can just like, kind of like, clear them off and I can be a little bit more peace of mind, just like, not worry about those things anymore. Like Saliva Island, now I have so little to remember, it's just a sarcophagus to remember. My advanced age! It starts to be an effort to remember all this stuff. That there is all these little nooks and stuff. So I think having a little run around every once in a while to check for new spots we might access is a worthwhile endeavor, especially because the, the game isn't so far impossibly huge. I mean, look, we're done. It took us about 10 minutes, so that is like half an episode, you might say over half an episode with all this other preamble and stuff. But I think that was still worthwhile, so I'm not gonna break from this plan yet. We'll see if it gets overbearing later on, but for now, I think I will commit to this as we get more gear to explore my options. But, yeah. In any case, I think we've done everything I can come up with now, and yeah, maybe I'll have like a big old run around the world to clear everything once uh, we get here. Well, not, not, not too much to go anymore. If we count Scuttletown as a world, that's three done, and four left, so we're about halfway there. Alright, whoa. Living on a prayer. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's shove off for Tan Line Island. Find out just how much of a tan we can get. Shantae's already pretty tanned, I feel like. I'm not sure she can get any more, but eh. Anyway. According to the map, this is Tan Line Island. It's hot! Don't let the immense heat distract you. There's a den of evil here. Find it and destroy it without delay. I'll go and have a look-see. You just leave everything to me. And if you feel cursed, lie back and put a damp towel over your forehead. 
Ugh. Where does she get the energy to be so disgustingly happy all the time? Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> these two are funny. Ooh. Jamming. Oh my god, these cactuses. It's gonna... Yeah. It was like... That looks like an enemy about to shoot stuff out. Sure enough. Whoa! Are you friend or foe? They are foe, I guess. Yes. He's like... I don't... I hope that was from that lady's knapsack. And not me harvesting parts from her. Ow. But why are there these, like, desert dervishes? Oh, and now I'm getting all these meat chunklets when the mayor doesn't want a meat chunklet anymore. Mm. I'm supposed to get flesh pops for him. Mm. Oh, jeez, harpies. Another returning enemy. These were... There was a desert area in Risky's Revenge as well, and, uh, yeah, these guys were there. Oh my god, holy moly, that's a new one, though. A freaking gear Tablilu? Sick. Whoa. Oi. Ooh. She means business, but I could also go down here. Oh man, what do I do now? Do I fight this amazing scorpion lady? Oh, got behind you. Gotcha. Super monster milk. Nice. Well, I guess I'll go here rather than dropping that hole yet. What are you? Are you a bad guy? Seems so. Squid diddly legionnaire. What the? How did Sky's dad manage to carry this all the way back to Scuttletown? Oh, this is where, yeah, Sky's dad got the cursed sarcophagus. Okay. That's a funny little detail, but, um, yeah. Apparently it doesn't help us with the problem. Nope. Alright, fine. Just let that be. Should I have gone in that hole? Aw, oh, regrets. Regrets when I have a... Crossroads. Oh. Uh oh gonna happen to the left of here then or to the right sorry i know my directions because there's a save right before we head there oh my it's like the ruins of petra can i hmm don't know the combination what the squid baron really ah how the heck did this guy end up here? You wonder. Oh. Hey, Squid Baron. What are you doing here, of all places? My vacation. It's ruined. Oh, right. I came here expecting to relax in the surf. To feel the ocean breeze on my face? and watch with feigned disinterest as nearby beach bunnies applied copious handfuls of sunscreen to each other's bodies in order to be practical and sun safe. Oh... From UV rays? Okay... But I didn't know that it's the off-season! The only sights at this time of year are the elder beings and scorpion folk. I give up. I'll be purchasing a lavish home nearby with amazing square footage and gravel landscaping at this rate. I won't let you do that! Buck up! There's still something amazing out there waiting for you. Something cliché, like a lonely lady squid. Maybe you're right. If I'm not gonna stick around, then here, take these x-ray specs. I won't be needing them, apparently. Use them to see through things if it please you. Got x-ray specs? What a weird item. Really? What am I gonna do with x-ray specs? I bet they can see through anything. Alright, well... Ooh. There was stuff to them. Left here. Huh. But what am I gonna use x-ray? I don't even know how to use them. Is there a button for them? Hold on. That's backdash. 
That's my hat. That's my pipe. Yeah. L3, R3, dude. Okay, no, I don't know what to do with the specs for yet, but let's go see what's going on here. Hey, fellas. Seems to be okay. We're not getting through here. Excavation going on here with these wolf lads. The chief wants these old ruins removed. This is gonna take my men forever and a day at this rate. Our ancestors on Saliva Island never had it so rough. Mm-hmm. Some kind of clue? Should I go look at the sarcophagus with the x-ray specs, you think? Can I x-ray these? Technically, there's only so many combinations, so eventually we'll, we'll get it, I suppose. I don't know how many there are of... Uh, these symbols, so... I can't do the math in my head right now. It's like... Okay, hold on, there's fish. Let's try it. Fish, bird... Um, koala? Hippo... Frog... So five. Five times five times five. Oh! Fish, bird... Koala... Hippo... Okay, I need to do this with my hands. Hold up. Fish, bird, koala, hippo, frog. Right, okay, that's five. Yeah, five times five times five. Okay. Well, that's 125 combinations. So, yeah, it would take us a bit of time to figure that one out. So, let's, um... Let's let that rest for now, I suppose. What we do... Wow. So, what happens when we walk back to that area and the uh, Girtablilu, which is a... Fancy-ass term for a scorpion centaur person. Well, it's gonna be there, and we're gonna have to fight them really close quarters. Bento box? Hmm. Hey, heart. Where are you? I could actually... Maybe eat a meat chunklet now that we don't need those. Because the mayor didn't want them anymore. Mm. Oh, here she is. Oh, are you supposed to hit her just in the head, I guess? Okay, well, all right. It's kind of rough, but not impossible. All right, let's go check out this ruin, then. And another one. With these glasses, I can see right through stone. Something's carved here. It's a design of some sort. Hmm. I'll make a quick sketch, just so I don't forget. You got the mummy sketch. What on earth? A sketch that captures one third of a mysterious design. Oh! oh what's this? Oh, oh, ooh! Alright, well, that didn't go super well. What if I. <laughs> okay, fine. I was trying to see if I could, like. Damn! How do you. Okay. Oh, no, God damn it. Okay, let's maybe pretend that there's maybe something else we can do. Then let's let's just let that be for now, maybe, and uh Go, go elsewhere. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll get something to like get across fast across that and do a, like a Metroid run, you know? That would be handy, uh, you know? Uh, because now I'm just getting my ass handed to me by... Oh. Okay, 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 fine. I'm just gonna try to see if I could get to the home base on that health, but there's still... Quite a few guys who would rock me, so let's let's not risk it. Whew. Yeah, so now I'm thinking, yeah, we got one third of the mummy sketch, and there are three sarcophagi. So yeah, I guess the secret actually isn't that the sarcophagus in um 
in, in, in Saliva Island actually is not part of saving Bazooka Joe, although maybe it will be a side effect to saving Bazooka Joe. But the actual thing that we're doing is um, trying to get pieces of the mummy sketch so we can open that huge, 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 huge tomb there. Very interesting, I like it. It is a fun little backtrack sesh here, I dig it. With these glasses I can see right through the stone. Something's carved here. It's a design of some sort. Hmm. I'll make a quick sketch, just so I don't forget. Bueno, I don't suppose I could see through... Nope, Bazooka Joe with my stone, alright. Yeah, this is clever, I like it. This is actually a fun little... I mean, I don't know, is it a really entirely necessary like thing to stretch out the game but uh, i don't know but like it's a fun little like payoff for having paid attention and explored is to know where all these sarcophagi are and just go around and getting them another thing i like was those um wolf people doing the excavation then mentioning their ancestors in saliva island there's two things going on there. One is a little bit of like world building to be like, why is that sarcophagus in Saliva Island? Which, yeah, we didn't really quite make that much sense yet. But, you know, I'm not saying it like ruins the game, but I am saying that it kind of sticks out as a weird thing here. You know, I mean, it's supposed to stick out. So you remember it and come pick it up later when you've got all the supplies you need. But anyway, like, yeah, it's just like a little quick reminder, like, oh yeah, you should probably come to Saliva Island. There might be something related to your current business in Tanline Island there. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, sorry, that's the other thing. Like, the, the one thing with the world building, but the real good thing is that, sorry, I got mixed up, idiot, that I am. Yeah, the real benefit is that the game's like, hey, you should probably go to Saliva Island. There might be something involving your quest in... In uh, Tanline Island there, since it was brought up by these folks. hoo -ah. There we go. So yeah. Good stuff all together. And now we got money to buy another... ...fancy-ass upgrade at some point, so... I think, so definitely gonna do that. Gotcha. Just let the pike ball do the job. But I want that heart. There we go. And this one was... Oh, no, not this one. It was the next area was the rough part. The triple mermaid meltdown. Come here, you. Oh, gosh. These little devils are weird, by the way. I don't know what their deal is. They don't seem very congruous with the area we are in. And it's kind of creepy. They remind me of that one enemy type in Kirby. It's the weird little floating head, and if you try to breathe them in, instead of, like, getting sucked in by Kirby, they, like, uh, they come after you as, like, this, they turn into this creepy Cyclops face and chase you down and before exploding. Uh, same energy with those imps. There we go. Another mummy sketch. Avoided a curse. Neat. Hey, now that I've sketched all three mummy carvings, I should be able to figure out the design. Hmm. Oh! Each shape represents an animal. And they're arranged in a very specific pattern. Which means the combination to that temple door is... Bird, bird, lion. Alright. Would not have gotten that for a bit. Oh, you gotta hit it. Okay. Nice. Hey, hey, we did it! Now we just gotta get back to Tanline Island and enter that spooky dungeon. Uh, ugh, ugh. This is the first area! How am I getting this beat up? No, Scuttle Town's the first area, I suppose. Oh, yeah, now Saliva Island's completely cleared off, I'm pretty sure. We can check it off now off our big list. No, you don't! Ha! Ah, glide it this time, you stupid mermaid. Suck it. 
Yeah. All right, 182. Oh yeah, all the small things. All right. So yeah, I'm coming back here just to do my little shopping and of course healing, because I'm a cheapskate like that. I don't want to get beat up by monsters in the desert. But um, yeah, fun little sign jaunt here. All right. The pistol tune-up is what we could get. I really want that power kick eventually, but there we go. Oh my god, wow, they do change what the pistol shots look like. I love that, cool. We can do some real damage at range now, I think. Because, like, the speed of these shots is pretty good, you know? Unless they slow it down every time you upgrade it, I hope not. No, that's pretty fast still. Pretty good stuff, so, yeah. If it does three damage per shot now, that's like pretty decent DPS. Come on with the DPS. Ah. 